Well, welcome. Let's take a look at our personal learning plan that has been crafted to be able to work both jointly to complete an AA Econ here at Camosun College. So that way there during your two years here, you're done. You get to transfer over to UVic to complete an actual degree, but you don't just leave Camosun with nothing. You don't just leave Camosun with your completed courses. You actually get to walk away from us with a certificate, and that is not even a certificate, but a diploma that is that Associate of Arts in Economics. So this plan here, as we have built on our left-hand side, lays out all of the required courses in order for you to receive that Associate of Arts in Economics. Now, that there, that there's as laid out on this far left-hand side. You'll notice there is some distinction, some difference between what courses we have laid out and what now I've put in this whole completed column. Now, okay, these aren't completed. These are more what you would need to complete in order to get the AA Econ. You'll notice that in some of these cases, I have said, hey, we say one of these two, but I say, nope, you should take Biz 140. Why? Why is that? Well, the reason being the whole goal of this personal learning plan is to open doors, to open pathways, not to close them. That is to keep your transfer opportunities to be as wide as possible, to allow this to bring you to UVic Gustafson Bachelor of Commerce, to bring it to UVic Bachelor of Arts in Economics, UVic Bachelor of Science in Economics, or maybe even just a general transfer, although it's not quite made for other programs for transfer there, but again, to keep doors open. By taking Biz 140, it fits better for that transfer. And again, we're specifically aiming this for the BCom program, but it still does keep you open for Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Sciences as well. As we carry on, right, there's a few cases where it just says, yeah, take either one. That is, you can take this entirely based off of your interest as you move through. This case here, one of these three. Well, any of those three would satisfy your AA Econ, but your Biz 130, that's going to be the one that you want in order to satisfy your transfer for UVic Bachelor of Commerce. Okay, so we have a lot of rigidity in required courses, the ones that you need to take. As you start to build up your timetable, these are going to be the ones that you really want to knock off as soon as you can, right? Really get these guys knocked off out of the way up front front load your work, your timetable with these guys here because uh, it's be worse to be in your last semester and find out that one of these courses that you're required to take isn't offered. And now you're stuck doing an extra semester because of that case, right? That's, that's not ideal. You don't want that to happen. So best to front load these guys, get them out of the way. That way, when you move on, we have all of these courses where we're just saying, hey, select whichever one you want select whichever one you want you have a lot of flexibility with these guys and with that flexibility comes flexibility of enrollment to be like oh we don't have geography offered this semester but we have psychology instead okay both of them work i'm going to now fit psychology in because it gives me my transfer credit so it allows a lot more flexibility to complete on time which is a big bonus okay what about this right hand side? What's going on here? Well, the ones that are in our black bold required, these are courses that you are required to have in order to transfer to the UVic Gustafson Bachelor of Commerce program. So we see that, hey, that's gonna be things like microeconomics, academic writing strategies. You'll also see that down here, we have two electives in our AA Econ program. That is Math 109 and English 251. These are just courses. They're not required for the AA Econ, but they are required for the UVic Gustafson Bachelor of Commerce. So you would want to take specifically these two as an AA Econ elective, but as a required course to transfer. Your other courses were here and this completed. I've just said, hey, select, 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 pick whichever one you want. Well, in these cases here, you can pick based off of your own interests or sometimes just strictly based off of availability. But what you want to make sure, and this is kind of a bit of onus on you, is to go and search through the transfer guide, 
what Uvic Gustafson Bachelor of Commerce has said that they will accept, what they will recognize as a transfer course, and then kind of look for the overlap. Now, right, this is honestly about 90% of the courses listed over here, they're going to transfer. It's a pretty broad situation. But what you want to make sure is that, hey, if you do go and take physics, does Gustafson School of Business, Bachelor of Commerce, will they accept physics as a transfer credit? If not, well, you might want to cross that one off the list. Even though it will work for your AA Econ, it may not work for your transfer there. And I just picked physics out because it popped out at me as I was looking at them. I'm not making a statement at all as to whether or not that physics does transfer. Again, that is, you'll have to go take a look at their transfer guidelines, what courses they are looking at. It's a huge list of courses. Almost everything does transfer, but you need to make sure that that is the case before you go and take those courses. Okay, so that's the personal learning plan. That's my recommendations with it. Hopefully that helps to give some insight as to what's going on here. If you have any questions from this, of course, please feel free to reach out to me by email. More than happy to work through this. As our courses get posted for upcoming semesters, it's difficult to say, hey, you should take this in September. You should take this in the fall. You should take this in the summer because we don't have our courses planned that far in advance. But when our courses are posted and when are they are available for you to look at and to be able to build a model timetable, if you have questions, if you want me to run through that timetable, if you want me to look at that timetable and see where it all fits, I'm more than happy to take a look at that for you. Again, just shoot me an email and I'd be more than happy to log on and see kind of where you are in working towards your completion of this and the transfer to UVic. Hope that helps answer all your questions in this. If anything else comes up again, again, always feel free, always available. Reach out to me at your own convenience. Thanks. All the best.